said it cause he knows that they're just go what is up guys, Jcraft here. Some people ask me how to do a text animation. Is it really It is it really a text animation? It's just more like um it's it's just really it's really easy, trust me. It's going to be a, it's not going to be a quick tutorial, but it's going to be very very simple, especially for beginners who don't really know how to use Sony Vegas. So First thing we, uh, we're gonna do is open up a video track and we're gonna insert text media. Now uh, I have Sony Vegas 11 so it might look a little different if you have Sony Vegas 9 or Sony Vegas 10 but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, choose a good looking type text. Let's just put Jcraft and Let's look for a nice text. It's gonna highlight over it, and you could look through different types of texts. All right, this one looks cool. So um, I'm just gonna add spaces to make it look more dramatic. It adds a sort of effect and uh, there you go you just have plain text you can't there's not much you can do with it but I'm going to show you guys real quick how to keyframe uh, you want to right click go to video event pants or scrap I forgot to tell you guys that and make sure these two are checked and uh, my windows a little bit too big here I'm just gonna make it smaller and uh, you'll see this little timeline right here. This is uh, how you're gonna keyframe, and the keyframe it, it's very hard to explain, but you'll get it. Uh, for the first keyframe, you want to click on this at the beginning, and you want to zoom in. But before you zoom in, make sure you have these two checked. Sorry, forgot to say that. And you want to zoom in as close as you possibly could. This is absolutely fine, and you want to go some intervals you got to take a wild guess here I'm good just gonna it depends on the length of the clip but I'm just gonna put it right here and right click and click restore it should bring it back to normal but uh, this is just basic keyframing whoops it's a little bit laggy see uh, it's basically animating the text through keyframes but you'll see that it's uh, I'm just gonna make this a little bit shorter for about one second see that it's just things still after and we want to change that and what we're gonna do is go to a farther keyframe and go to a really far keyframe from here uh, more forward and you want to zoom in just a little bit don't put it too much and it will add a really nice effect see that that looks uh, really good but uh, next thing you want to do is add new blue earthquake but I do not have any new blue uh, effects uh, whoops I do not have any new blue effects because of my new computer and I am I have always forgotten to get some new blue effects so I'm very limited but uh, what you can do is actually add new blue earthquake and lower down the settings a bit so it could look like wiggle that's what I did in this video see that that's a really nice wiggle but I cannot do that right now so uh, I can't really explain to you how to do it but right now this is absolutely fine and a lot of people ask me how to change the colors like make it seem like a gradient and it is really simple guys uh, but for for example I want this to be red and I want to add a gradient I'm just gonna change a text color to red and I'm gonna go ahead and add magic bullet looks over it should be in all just add anything any magic bullet looks over it it'll look you just gotta test out different things and it'll look pretty good okay this one is the one I, I think I use this one actually 
I'm not sure how it transferred over and that's a text effect now if you want to uh, animate it to a different uh, text I'm sorry guys sorry for that small delay and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this over here control V click OK and should be another copy and we're just gonna put different text sorry I'm typing with one hand and I'm gonna lower down font size because it's too big and yeah that's pretty good uh, but we could go ahead and change the color here we could change it to white we could change it to uh, let's try purple purple looks pretty good Okay. Uh, for a magic build, looks you you really wanna uh, just experiment with different uh, different types of color corrections, and uh, we could just leave it like that, or we could add different types of effects. For example, in the beginning here, we could add ga we could actually keyframe Gaussian blur. Hold up, I'll just show you guys real quick. I'm just gonna put uh, soften and it'll give it a nice blur and what we're gonna do is uh, click on this little clock here for both of them maybe different for uh, Sony Vegas 10 and Sony Vegas 9 but it's it's very very similar you wanna go ahead and go a little bit of, like let's say right here and drag it down to zero and you can see that it blurs then unblurs which is a pretty nice effect that you can add So, uh, that's f that's for that. That's it for that. But uh, we could add a transition between these two to make it a lot more smoother. For example, we just want to remove the intro keyframe and just make it into this and make it go farther. No, wait, that actually makes it look worth sar worse. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, we're just gonna go to transitions, the transitions tab in Sony Vegas, and you could just experiment with what you like. This is the one that I used in the video. See that? I also added a twitch effect, but I have a tutorial on that already. And now that we have that in, let's see how it looks. Okay, now that I think about it, I think I should make the text just a little bit bigger. Let's change it to like 24. It's absolutely fine. Nah, let's change it a little bit bigger. <sighs> Whoops. Okay, that's good enough. And, uh,. Uh, what we can do to smoothen up this transition is add real smart motion blur. It'll add um, nice motion blur. It'll generate it for you. You don't have to do any keyframing of linear blurs. And uh, let's see, my Vegas is quite long. I'm just gonna add more RAM to it. Add more dedicated RAM. See that looks pretty good. It's just that it's a little bit laggy. Yeah, I'll just pre-render it for you guys, real quick. See that looks pretty good, and that's the basics of um, creating text animations. You guys asked me. Uh, you can try different transitions, but um, 
if I had a wiggle, it would make it look a hundred times better if I had new blue effects, like new blue earthquake. But uh, sadly, I do not have. If, if anyone could actually show it to me, that would be pretty awesome. But uh, I don't really need it that badly. Try different effects, but for some reason, I can't view them. That is quite odd. Well, uh, let's just drag a random one and see if it fixes it. Yeah, it it, it definitely works, but add a little bit more time to it. So, that's it guys, thanks for watching, it's very, very simple, and someone, some guy asked me on Steam how to do it, so, yeah, see you guys later.